Hey guys, this is Baron J67. Welcome back. And I'm, and I'm uh, XT Jones. What's going on? Man, you know what, dude? It, it's so trippy because we're still doing it, man. Another still doing it. Still. Another day, another opportunity. Still rocking, man. Still rocking. How was your week? You know what, man? It was um it was it was eh, it was kind of rough, you know, uh dealt with some some family stuff, but it's all good. Um Yeah. But besides that, every day above ground is a good one, and I didn't go and buy any pop figures, so um, I'm quite proud of myself. I didn't go buy no art. I didn't go buy where, no pop where figures. Where you succeeded, I failed because I bought two. Ooh, which ones you get? I got a uh, um, was it General Snoke or Lord Snoke? Supreme Leader Snoke. Snoke. Yeah, Snoke. You almost and lost I got, your um, card today. Deadshot from Suicide Squad. Mm. Yeah, I had, I had to pick it up. It was the only two sitting there, and I said, uh. Okay, so you know what? Actually, I'm lying. Um, I lied. <laughs> so there's there's this there's this craze on going on. You know, everybody's into unboxing. It's not a craze. It's not new, but everybody's into unboxing. Well, uh, a coworker of mine was like, "Hey, man." You know, it'd be cool for your page. And I was like, oh, what? He doesn't talk like that. He's probably going to be mad. He listens. Um, but he was like, hey, you should do the mystery boxes from eBay unboxing. And I was like, what the hell's a mystery box? I was like, what's a mystery box? He was like, you just pay a certain amount and you get a box. It could have nothing or everything in it. Like oh, somebody, no. somebody spent like 50 bucks and got like an Xbox One and all type of craziness. Yeah. So wow. in my head, I was like, well. I'm going to start off with a $10 one and I'm going to do it. I'm going to uh -huh. do it. I'm going to do it. And um, so now it's just the waiting game. Uh, my eBay account has been so old. Like basically since Amazon came about, eBay wasn't yeah, used I no I've more. Never, I, I got robbed on eBay one time and never used it again. Oh, for real? What'd you get? Dang. This was way back in the day. Well, it had to be for you to use eBay. <laughs> way back in the day, man. I, I was trying to sell a side a sidekick, the first one. Ooh, the brick. And uh, huh? The brick. Yeah, and uh, I got got. I was trying to sell a broke one, and I got got. Never again. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since then, I said I ain't using. I said f f Amazon. Or not Amazon, eBay. So eBay. No. So you know what? I've never really had any problems with eBay. It was just a matter of Amazon was so much easier. Um, but yeah, I think and Amazon started easy too. It did. From what I remember, I never had any major hiccups with Amazon. And then when they came about with Amazon Prime, that was mm -hmm. like in what, like 2008, 2009? Two I'm not sure, but it's funny I know how it, I started with, go ahead. with Prime. I said, it's funny how I started with Prime. My daughter accidentally bought it and I just said, ah. and I do the annual, the yearly one. Yep, and I just didn't. I just heard that the monthly ones got like a twenty percent raise. I I don't know. Look, I've been yearly since it since two thousand nine started. I've yeah. been yearly since two thousand nine because first off, that two day shipping are the and then they keep growing and adding more stuff. So I remember when they added Prime Video, Prime Music, Prime Books. Mm -hmm. um, I got all of that. Yeah, hell yeah. And then they added, um, and then they started doing same day delivery. Then they even have they in some cities they ha Amazon has a whole setup where it's like within a, a couple hours, like within a few. Yeah, hours. they. I know Texas, L.A. Some places in Texas have same day delivery. Some places in uh, in L.A. or all of L.A. has same day delivery. It's just it's gonna be a couple hours late because of traffic. Oh and I think uh, New York has same day delivery as well. Man, I only know because of YouTubers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only reason why hey, I know. So. Hey, no, but but wrapping it back to the whole unboxing thing, I'm actually really excited. I'm looking forward. I think I'm supposed to get it sometime this week, but I'm I'm hoping that my ten dollars turns into like a hundred dollar venture. <laughs> like, I mean, it could. It could. It could or it could I just mean, be a box of horse manure. Like I don't know it. It could be a box with a, a sticky note on it that says, says gotcha. Gotcha. And I, all I could do is laugh because I'm going to do a live yeah. unboxing for that one. Or not live. Uh, I'm going to record myself opening that one. 
But mm-hmm. um, that's actually been something. Um, speaking on that, the one company that okay, so I've used Loot Crate, love them. Um, I even used to use Nerd Block. Now for a while, I enjoyed Nerd Block more, but I they went like bankrupt. I don't know exactly what happened, but they they went out of business. But all of that yeah. stuff really kicked off a lot of my collecting. Now I look like a part time hoarder. Now that I look around my. My Low key, you you do got the storage facility yeah, worth it, of equipment. Yeah, it's. Pretty... I don't know if you you guys can see in my uh, in my top. I can't figure it out. Right, just go up from where my finger. Is. Uh, I got a gang of pop filters up there. It, 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 <laughs> or, and me, I do my best to like hide it and make it look like it's not as bad as it is. Yeah, but see, I, matter of fact, above my head, you can see the. Uh, Remember when I bought that from you? Mm-hmm. That uh, Horizon Zero Dawn uh, mm-hmm. statue? That's right there. <laughs> Man, I, it just... Oh, my gosh. And then they keep coming out with cool collector's editions of games. See, now... my I got some dudes that I game with. Uh, shout out to Mufasa. Um, Mufasa. And, and Kiddo. What's up, dog? But... They, so, they game share. Me... I would be a hundred percent down for game sharing, but my problem is I like to buy disc. I don't, I like I like buying disc too. Remember we tried the game sharing thing, but my PlayStation was broken, and or my Xbox was broken. Everything in my damn house breaks. <laughs> Anything that I own that just don't work after a certain period of time. And then um, I like buying the game as well. I just I don't know I. I guess I'm a caveman because I was live streaming and they were making fun of me. They was like, change the disc. <laughs> they were like, you got to take the disc out. What? Like, it, I don't, I don't know. I, it's just the nostalgia, I guess, of having the, the actual physical copy. Like, yeah, it, you, like I, it, it feels if God, people got mad at me because I was like, oh, yeah. I got to go to GameStop to pick up my copy. And everybody was like, my huh? Boy, my boy Dunn was like, why don't you just download it? I was like, nah. I kind of want the I want the steelbook case. Right? <laughs> and I, I... It... And, the, okay. You remember the days of good... Uh, pre, um, good game, like, um, swag... I remember at when I was growing up, you'd be able to go into GameStop or Game Crazy. I'm taking it way back. Or um, so you'd be able to walk in, and they would have a drawer with like all the stuff. Like, oh, if you pre-order or buy this game, it comes with this keychain. Or they would just give you shit for yeah, free. Yeah, dude, they would just yeah. load up my bag. Actually, one of my first hats that like I wore on a regular basis was a. Uh, um, it was like a hat I got from GameStop for. Pro- I think it was a racing game. I think it was called Pure. I want to say it was for the racing game Pure. Yeah, Pure is the racing game. Yeah, like, I mm-hmm. wore that yeah. hat religiously. I yeah. I don't know why, but it it was free and it fit on my big old head. Man, we man, all that stuff we got for free back then mm-hmm. was the dopest. Even the posters, mm, bro. But my my old room at my parents' house is postered. A whole wall is just plastered. And then. Yeah. My little brother, um, he, any poster I would get, I would just give it to him. He has them from f- ceiling to the floor, all the way around. Yeah. Well, Brian, uh, your, 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 your brother got a, uh, he got a touch, man. He got a artistic touch. Oh, hell yeah. Um, yeah, that yeah. kid, man, he's doing, he's doing the most. But, um, but what was I saying with, um, I was talking about buying collectors and mystery boxes. So I've been doing these unboxings. Yeah. And I'm super excited. I'm actually, I'm, I'm excited. I'm nervous at the same time, but and check out his channel, son. He got a lot of them unboxed. Yeah, on his I probably have way See? too many unboxed. Look at the plug, though. Yeah, you got. I like the way you slid that in. Like, hey. So, <laughs> okay, I want to talk about something real quick. I just finished watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Now, let okay. me get some background. I never read the manga for Full Metal Alchemist, but I do know. For a fact, and it's clear as day, it's nothing new because I'm late to the show on this one. So, Full Metal Alchemist, the original show they made, uh, that was like far off from the real story. Okay. So, I'm watching 
Full Metal Alchemist, Alchemist Brotherhood, which follows the manga, and I I cried a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. I oh. finally finished it because it was beautiful. Ed and Alphonse, they finally got their bodies back. Well, I've never seen it, so you don't ne- spoil. Uh, Jesus. You, oh, you always got to spoil stuff. I ain't got to spoil nothing. You look. I am at least four or five, if not put more plus years late to this party. I think after so long, everybody needs to know that Bruce Willis was is dead in the sixth sense. It's been over ten years, y'all. Spoiler, my ass ain't no spoil. It's spoiled. Ain't Some no spoil. It's spoiled. They didn't. Just I'm not. No, when you, there's there has to be a limit. Like at some point, I'm shocked the internet hasn't put the whole plot line and plot by plot for Black Panther yet. There. Oh, that's that's no. But I'm talking about older stuff. No, but man. that's new what I'm saying. Don't last. Yeah, new yeah, stuff. New stuff that catch, yeah, it don't. New, yeah, new stuff that catch the internet wave does not last. Laugh or last because of memeing. Yeah, memeing destroyed memes, destroy shit. Because memes are life. You don't. You don't need. Just scroll through your Instagram. You'll find the whole I'm, damn movie. I'm gonna be real Instagram. with you. That's how I've been able to keep up with Dragon Ball. Uh, Dragon Ball Super is because of memes. Oh. That's how I knew about Jiren. I haven't watched one episode of Dragon Ball Super. It's not like I'm saying it like I'm proud. I'm just saying it because it's real. No, he's saying it like he's proud. <laughs> no, no, there's no pride behind this. Kick out this. No, <laughs> first and foremost, let's. Let, I, I got to get this out. Jumping into this, doing this podcast. Um, doing this live streaming, creating our YouTube channels, our individual YouTube channels, and uh-huh. just trying to build in this community and really grow. Discord streamers hide out. Shout out to you guys. I'm a Discord staff member with them. All type of craziness, right? And then, of course, I have my kids, my wife, my life, and then job. So, yeah, what I've come to find out is something's got to give. And this is, and it isn't a bad thing. I know I'm making it sound like I'm, it's bad, but what happens is, I can't watch all the shows I want to watch. I, it, it, it's Man, a, see, I, I don't think you're utilizing your time wisely. Who? <laughs> because, because I, I just watched all seven ep, all seven seasons of. And, and granted, you do stream more than me. You do play more than me. Um, I watched all seven seasons of uh, of well, Shameless in one week. Okay, now and I work and I work forty hours a week and okay. the whole shebang. Okay, I, okay, but, I'm gonna give you that. How many hours did you stream in that week? Like I said, you stream. Okay, I, I can't tell you, probably zero, probably zero. But see, let me, let me, let me. I guess with me, I, I, I love to utilize my time, and I'll do multiple things at once. So I may go, I may go cook dinner, wash dishes, cook dinner, do all of that while watching a show, listening to a podcast, listening to some, doing any, doing something. And then, like, I'll use, like, wake up in the morning and put something on. Like, if I'm trying to catch up on my YouTube videos, learn something, you know, listening to podcasts that ever since I started doing this, we started the podcast. I don't listen to other podcasts. It's been it's kind of hard for me. So normally I'll just listen to ours. Yeah, like yeah, one, yeah. Two, two, one time and then. It's just YouTube videos after that, trying to learn different stuff and different Twitch or twitch live streaming stuff but yeah man i think i think you got more time to give man <laughs> you don't no. shake your head no i i, I don't um i i really 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 don't Be- mm-hmm. because what it boils down to is are you gonna watch tv with your wife or are you gonna go on your phone and go to vrv or go to Crunchyroll? Or go to whatever else and watch this watch. Oh, I'm trying to watch One Piece. One Piece got okay. over what over 400 plus. I think almost damn near a thousand episodes. A crazy number. So I gotta watch One Piece. I gotta watch Bleach. I gotta watch. Um, I gotta finish. Well, finish Bleach, not watch Bleach. Finish Bleach. 
So, um, so, so wifey doesn't watch. Uh, oh no, she lo- she watches that stuff. But why would I- she already supports me enough with this? I'm not trying to drown her out in it. I gotta give oh, it to her. I mean, spurts. It's, it's different if she if she's already doing it, then you have no choice. But if she's not, then you don't want to force her to. Do yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do I don't it. I don't want to force it down her throat. Like, mm-hmm. um, it it. I look. I there's not enough and then there's new shows coming out like I ain't watched Black Clover I haven't watched the new Steven Universe the last couple like episodes Lars mm-hmm. is a superhero and running a pirate ship and <sighs> look you got some more time to give man no. you just need to break it down no and then I love to sleep I'm not missing sleep I am not mi- people don't believe the hype. Do you sleep? Uh, I get a minimum of six hours. Oh, that's see, that's good. Look, I am not. I'm gonna sleep and I'm gonna eat. How much of that is drive time? Oh God, me driving every day. Yeah. God. Um, see, see, cause that that can explain a lot. Drive me, time can explain a it, lot. It's not as bad as it used to be. Um, I used to commute around four hours a day. Now it's okay. only around two hours a day, but so two hours a day total, um, give or take. Yeah. Okay. It's not, it's not, right. it's not what it used to be, but okay. But all of this comes in the fact of, so you got your streaming, you got your babies looking at you talking about daddy. And I'm like, I love you. What you need? But <laughs> at the end of the day, folks, you need to rest. You need to recharge your batteries. You need if you need to go sit outside and put your feet in the grass and look up, do it. This is a call to action. I'm gonna t- tell you something. It's funny that you mentioned that. Today we took my baby, my baby girl to gymnastics. For oh, okay. The first time. And it was weird for me. I didn't want to be there. <laughs> it was only weird because. I haven't been around like in an environment like that where parents are talking to each other and things like that. And I'm like, man, like I, I wish I could have been here and nobody else was here type deal. Ah, uh, I like, got you. Not, not, not want to be there because I just didn't enjoy it. Obviously anything my daughter wanted to do, she can do and I'll enjoy what she's doing. But I'm talking about sitting in a small ass chair. My big ass in between my wife and a lady with my hands in between my leg. I don't want to move. You know, it's getting packed because everybody bringing their kids in. I'm like, oh, man. I don't want to be here. <laughs> but it it, it, it kind of it kind of made sense that I need to be I need to do more stuff like that. I need to get out more other than work in front of the computer. I need to get yeah. out. Yeah. And do other stuff. So yeah, I can I can relate to. So that, once man. you start doing that, you'll see why you won't be able to no longer watch Shameless and finish the whole series in a week. Oh, don't you don't want to challenge me? No, it's not a challenge. I don't wish that upon anybody. Like I I hope <laughs> no. There has to. My, be- hey, listen, I, I maximize I maximize bathroom time. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I maximize it all, man. How do you sleep at night? <laughs> what movie was that what but, was that what was that hoodlum he was like who said i'd sleep no because <laughs> hey man listen it it just it is what it is it's so many hours in the day it, it i didn't realize how much time i was was being wasted by mm. me until like i until i realized it, yo i'm I, be, I could sit in this one specific spot for four hours and not move mm. And that was a minute ago. Like I used to just, it was one spot on the couch. I sit there and my charger was right by me and all I needed was the remotes. And I did not move. This was back when my my baby girl was just born. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't move. I'd be there for a good four hours, you know, and that'd be that. And I, then I just realized like, yo, I got to get up. I gotta do something. I mean, granted, I do I do that now. I yeah, can yeah, sit yeah. in front of the game and grain for four hours and that won't be nothing, but time would seem to drag as I'm just sitting there watching whatever, doing whatever I'm doing. But I mean I'm I'm just glad I guess 
you need balance. There so I has agree with you. to be balance, and when you do, and, and with me and the way my balance work, it's hard for me to keep up with all my shows because at the end okay. of the day, something's got to give. Something, something has to hey. give. And this, and this. Oh, go ahead. I was, I was getting ready to say, keep this in mind. If that's, if that's the only thing that has to give is you watching shows, shit, you ain't missing nothing. Thank you. Because like we just said. Everything that you you want to watch, you can watch in twenty seconds on a Instagram clip. Or yep, they probably got some Cliff Notes website on these episodes that you could go to. Bro, I could, I really could go to Wikipedia for each, uh, for each series and really mm-hmm. just read my way through it. Or I could actually exactly. go pick up the mangas. But yeah. so okay, so um, what else? Like I like I love reading. Oh. So I started audio. I started audio booking. Let me let me tell you about that. Audio books fall into the same thing as excuse me as downloading games for me. It falls into the yep. same thing. I have a bad. I need to feel the paper. Like I need to feel the book. Like I mean, mm-hmm. I got books. Right. Like I got books. I I keep books and books and I keep graphic novels and Steven Universe. Con- like I, I keep it on deck and ready to go. Yeah. I need I, I could have every comic book in the world, and every graphic novel in the world if I simply just signed up for like Comicsology or one of those yeah. one of those sites where you just pay monthly fee and you got access to everything. But I wouldn't yeah. respect it as much. I wouldn't take the time yeah. and read it. Like I got a couple you know of ebooks. What? It's hard for me to really. Re- I want to feel the paper. I'm I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you with me at least. When I when I the first ebook I got was uh, Ready Player One. Oh, okay. And uh, the reason why, or I'm sorry, the first ebook I got was uh, Charlemagne's The God of Black Privilege Opportunity oh, okay. Comes to Those Who. Uh, it's a long ass title, <laughs> but um, Charlemagne the God's book. Yeah, gotcha. I, I listened to it, and that was my first ebook. Now I'm a guy that likes to flip the page as well. Um, that's how obviously I grew up was with books in my hand yeah. reading them and because you not only well growing up in my household you didn't just read that book you read the dictionary along with it because you had to look up words that you didn't know or you know so we did it like that um, so I ended up getting that book and the reason why I liked it a lot was because and and I used to think it was almost like cheating but then I realized it's the same thing. We live in an area. We live in an era of fast. Everything is fast. True. And if I'm if I'm cutting out books because like I'm I'm doing this. I'm I'm playing. I'm streaming. I'm recording. I'm editing, which take up time as well. I gotta work. I gotta drive. You know. Uh, I still can get the the consumption of the book just from you know listening to it. I got a I got a a, a two hour drive every day, to and back from work. You know that's enough to get a couple chapters out the way. And I mean I've always been a good listener, so I still retain the same information from reading. You might actually retain more. Exactly. You know I get mad details that I and then then the one thing I thought I was I would I was I thought was going to happen was I was going to forget the stuff like in one ear out the other type deal mm. but that's not the case um and i guess to each his own i still the both of those books because I, I listened to ready player one and i read ready player one as well listen to ready player one and listen to that uh charlamagne the god book and i still remember vivid details because of how they read it r- uh, wrote it so it's still based off of how the person wrote the book as well. And and actually, you know, piggybacking on that and jumping on Ready Player One, I am so excited for that movie. Now, I'm going to tell you this. One thing I do know is fanboys of the book are going to be mad. Of course. And But they, um, I want to say Spielberg, uh, I want to say Spielberg is directing it. I want to, mm-hmm. I could be wrong. Uh, I could check right now. But... Um, one thing I do know is they couldn't get all the rights for all the stuff mentioned in that book. Hell no. They would go broke. That would be like the most expensive movie on earth to get every yeah. right. Cause they literally mentioned music, games, 
um, patented patented everything. Everything throughout Ready Player One is a huge patent or yeah, a huge copyright yeah. issue. Like, I mean, g- games that some of us in this generation have never even heard of. Exactly. You know, so and then and I, even I, just movies, war games. Like it, there's so many movies referenced and so many songs referenced in that uh, in that book that mm-hmm. to expect that to roll over to the movie seamlessly it's not it'd, gonna happen you would be naive as hell for, to want something like that to happen and that's why i do my best when it comes to um when it comes to movie uh when it comes to books becoming movies or video games becoming movies or vice versa i try to i try to just enjoy it for what it is yeah like um that warcraft movie that came out that was a good movie yeah. Um, that was a good, mo- that was, like a, that that was a good movie. Um, what yeah. else? Um, I mean, I'm probably pissing people off. I enjoyed the Super Mario Bros. movie, the old school one. I loved it with John Leguizano uh, and the Koopas walking around, the Goombas walking around in suits. Like, I loved that movie. I thought that, it was not the animated. No, not, not the, the animated one. The, the, it was a movie. Real one with it the was short guy. Yeah, and, and then John Leguizano as uh, Luigi. I thought what it was. Did he? He played in another movie. Uh, he played John Leguizano was uh, the the clown from Spawn. He was uh, he was in Moulin Rouge, Tu Wong Fu, um, John Leguizano, the the pest. He was in a crap ton yeah. of movies. John Leguizano has been all all over the place. Yeah. I, I, man, pe- people just need, like you said. I think you said yeah. the best, and that's just take it for what it is. But if you're a true fan, read the book. Yeah. Oh book yeah. First I recommend. I recommend Ready Player One to anybody. I finished that book, and this was me taking time at work reading it. Um, I probably finished it in like three days, and now yeah. maybe a little longer. But that was just me beasting it because I couldn't wait to get back to it. It was just that yeah. good. I can only imagine how it sounded um, in audiobook. Who um, do you remember who read it? Was it the author? Was it um, or did it have different voice actors who read it? No, nah, it was one guy straight through. Oh, okay, uh, I forget the guy's name, but it the book listening to it, it's a real like reading it. You're reading it, yeah. So you you just theater of the mind. You're, yeah. you're watching and processing the words. But listening to it, boy, it's it's real vivid. Like, you know, they go into extreme details on things that you don't think they need to, but I still I still like it because everything was painted for me. Mm-hmm. Like I, when they when they started talking about the basement. Oh yeah, when yeah. They talked yeah. about the basement. I could you can actually, see it. the yeah I seen Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight's room just with a lot more shelves, a lot more yeah. games, a lot more. Po- That's what I seen. And I was like, yo, that, that, I mean, after li- I sit here talking to you about, it's a lot of other stuff that I can literally go in detail. Cause I remember how vivid they described it and everything they talked about. So yeah, man, I, I, I recommend audio books. I think I like them and they, they just audio books just speed up the process. True. I just, I, I don't know if it's me being that, that old guy, you know, in my day, is you, it's you being the old guy. I know. I always hated the old guy. Oh, today's music sucks. Oh, you kids this, you kids that. Every generation has their wild cards. Every generation has We just has had their... this conversation, too, about the encyclopedias. Don't forget that. About the what? You were being the old guy then. Oh, about... No, kids. Kids should get out there and use the... You know, use the bit because that's what we had to do as a chat. No, man. They progression it's all about progression i know it's, it's faster about, for them i know i know i know you know how mad i'll be still if they giving out textbook man boy if you don't give me the audio book for this damn thing in college no nah, for real it makes it i'm just i guess i'm just old school man i yeah, like man, i said i don't don't be the old guy man. i know I, I don't this is the thing let me let me stop this is why i feel like i'm not the old guy and when I say the old guy, the old guy is that one bitter person who's just mad about anything that's not the way he used to do it. Any anybody that that says that uh, Lil Yachty's and Lil Pump's music is sucks, <sighs> typically is an old guy. The old guys, old heads, yeah. as people mm-hmm. call them in the music industry. If they if they still rocking baggy ass pants and well, see, 
Now we can get on that if in a second. Still, Let me no, no 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 no. I'm a, we can jump back on that. Just remind me and we'll jump on that in a second cuz yeah. that's a regional thing. That's a complete of, regional thing. So I and I'll, I'll give you plenty of stories about that. I mean, sp- I'll jump on it now. So I I'm I go down south and I'm wearing some uh I'm wearing some Vans. You know, I'm a California guy. So I'm wearing some Vans and I go down south and they ask me why am I wearing jailbird shoes? Yeah. But everybody out there walking around in clay and thick ass Jordans. Like I can I can relate. I went to Virginia and they were roasting me. Yeah. I damn I got so mad. I'm in Chucks. Yeah. Chucks was popping at the time. Yeah. They they are dogging me for wearing these shoes. So you're right. It, everything's but a regional thing. I'm I'm gonna say this. Every region has their version of the baggy jeans and the five X. No, t-shirt. but the reason why Every the reason why I it. say that some places out there that's still the norm. Yeah, that's still the norm. That's still like the thing to do. Everybody don't want they want they junk all tied up and want their ankles okay, showing. When I when I no 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 when I say baggy jeans, I'm not saying like super tight like Little Wayne. <laughs> like Lil Wayne tight. I mean, they, they're they not... I, I got to find a better way to say it. it, it I, don't, I don't mean it like that. You're, like, you're saying you know, they're, like they don't move, they don't keep up with the times at all. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. And, gotcha. and, and one thing you should always remember is that your style is your style. Like, over the years, I mean, I used to wear baggy pants too, but now they're more fitting. You know, now I'm not like... They're not super baggy. Like... <laughs> <laughs> they fit me. Yeah, here. They fit me yeah, on there. my waist. Like it's all good, to. man. You got your leggings. It's all good. Nobody judging. I ain't got leggings on. <laughs> Dude, you crazy. You crazy my my big ass couldn't wear no leggings. Man, I, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, bro, don't that don't that be breaking your heart when you see people who clear? Look, I'm a I'm a big guy. I'm gonna get on this and I'm gonna do it. I'm a big guy. I am big. I'm big. So yeah. there, I'm a firm believer as a big guy that there's a weight limit on just about everything. So, <laughs> oh, sh- so in saying that, you gotta you gotta do things accordingly. And yeah. and look, I'm not gonna go get on. I'm not gonna try to get on the roller coaster at the local fair because uh, I don't no. think they had it. They had that one seat in mind for me. <laughs> I don't think they <laughs> built that with me in mind. I don't, I don't think, think I was the prototype a lot of stuff. with me in mind. And it's rude. That's why, you know what, that's actually, and jumping back on that, that used to hurt my feelings. All of a sudden, everybody wanted to wear big clothes. But what people don't realize is the big clothes was just my normal clothes. So exactly. now I ain't got big that. clothes is gone. I, everything gone. I was like, can y'all please go back to your 2X and below section, please? Can y'all stay out of here? The same for y'all. This looking ain't, like this, young jock. Yeah, this ain't. Oh, well, you can't even say that anymore. Remember, did he get, wasn't he wearing a dress not too long ago? Yeah. And then he yeah, had his hair but, like permed and slick to the side. Yeah, he, he was looking all dapper Dan with a skirt on. He had the, uh, what's the. He looked like uh, Young Greasy. In that episode no, of the, the Boondocks, past, the pastor from Boondocks. Oh, he did look like oh, whoa, oh man. Oh. Pa- was it Pastor Feelgood or something like that? <laughs> oh man, I think so. But or no, no, not the pastor. He wasn't the pastor. He was the activist. The activist. The guy pastor. That wanted to, yeah, the one they. He was they, a pastor. They imitated after um, Reverend uh, Al Sharpton. That's oh, that's okay. who they they imitated him off of. But yeah, hey man. I just, I don't know how you, what, like, it's easy to sit here and judge, but if somebody said, hey, man, here's, here's a hundred grand for this, for a couple episodes, um, I don't, I don't think I could wear it, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't know, I don't think I could do a dress. I, no, I couldn't. I, 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 I couldn't. I couldn't, I couldn't. Nah. But, but you. You know what? But though? I'm gonna you, tell you, you this: gotta... I ain't, I ain't nobody no, ain't putting no million dollar check in front of me and told me to get on stage and be Medea. Look, hey, you're right. Hey, you're right. I ain't go, me, I ain't gonna sit here and say though. what I'm not gonna do because I ain't had a million dollar check thrown in front of me. Let me tell you this though, um, and this is why, like, I like when I, I like growing from, I like starting from literally the bottom mm-hmm. and doing stuff. Like even. You know, even new artists, I like listening to them when they're underground. I got you. And then they they blow. Uh, the reason why I say that is because when you, 
as a as an entertainer, like let's use Young Jock as an example again, as an entertainer, um, hit and with him being on like Love and Hip Hop and all that, his personality is what's getting him paid. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So. Uh, it's he has to keep up with the time. He cannot become dated. If he becomes dated, who's gonna book Young Jock, the and, old guy? And that and you see, know and, and check that out. And at what point do we draw the line? That's that's when it comes up. Like at at what point do you need? Man, we're in the era of get the bag. Yeah, that's all people yeah, talk about. Yeah, you know, if money rules you, it's gonna rule you. It's yeah. gonna make you do things you don't want to do. But if you're a person that's like, if you're genuine, if you're content. With where you are, that shit ain't going to affect and, you at all. And like, let me tell you this. I was actually just talking with my pops about it before Trump got inaugurated. Um, when he when it looked like he was going to win or when they announced he won before the inauguration, I immediately knew because he was all for stop and frisk. I was like, oh, the prison stocks are going to go up. Oh, and for people, mm -hmm. there there are stocks out there. If people don't know, they publicly trade prison stock. So don't be shocked if new crimes come about in order to boost new prisons and whatnot. That's it's a publicly traded thing. People invest in the prison industrial complex. So I was like, it's going to be it's common sense. Once Trump's um, put in office, prison stocks are going to go up. It's going to be a nice little boom. It's going to make some money. So I yeah. sat down with my wife and I, you know, I discussed it. I was like, oh, you know, maybe I can throw some money at it. But then. I really sat back and I was like, no, I'm, I'm not going to do it. Like we, everybody, you have to have that line. You, and because money doesn't rule exactly. you though. Exactly. Money, sure money doesn't. isn't the reason why you, you, you know, you, you work, you're working, you're yeah. taking care of your family. You're doing what you need to do. Money doesn't control you. Like if, if it was between you and something that was really imp if it was between money and something that's very important to you yeah. you probably pick the thing that's very important oh yeah like i said we're we're in the era of get the bag you hear that's all you hear people mm -hmm. talk about you hear the music nowadays and by all means go out and become successful yeah but don't sell your soul i mean and i've said that figuratively yeah uh sell your soul to wear like a dress like i'm seeing unless that's, that's what you do dressed. unless that's what if you if hey, you wear and, dresses and, wear your dress and you wear it comfortably just yeah but in this specific situation no, i'm talking about you. young yeah, jock. yeah 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 because young jock came on and explained it as hey you know this this that and get the money paid and they was paying me so it was like okay like so now you're being paid to dress in to put on a dress all right cool I mean, look at Martin Lawrence, look at fucking Tyler Perry, look at all these people that have stepped out of their, but like I said, that's, that's a character that True. is them being paid to do something that, you know, act to act or whatever. And that's, but, and that's why I say, I, nobody's offered me a million dollars to sit on stage yeah. and pretend I'm somebody's grandma. Hey, like. and, and when you get to that point, if you ever got to that point, that'd be a discussion that you would have to have with yourself yep. before you can, you know, in, even entertain it. Me, on the other hand, is I, I can't say, like, you're right. No one's offered me, no one, I mean, no one's offered me $20 million to do nothing like that. Yeah. But, you know, I'm more, I'm content where I'm at. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm real cool with what I got. You know, I'm, I'm trying to, I want to become successful because of me. Like, I want to push me and the brands and the ideas that I have. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I'm not really one for dresses. I don't think they look good on me anyway. So, <laughs> man, so, that, like, yeah, but I, I ain't trying to burn nobody's eyes out, but of course not. I mean, I, I couldn't even imagine, I couldn't imagine putting the dress in front of me. Like, like I just, who it, could, but look. And and the whole point of it was was just the the idea of like you said money money should money is necessary. I'm not gonna sit here and try to tell people money doesn't matter because you need to be able to barter whatever the yep. current whatever the the terms of agreement whatever the barter system is whatever mm -hmm. you you need to it has to exist you have to have it. I have to have of money course. to pay bills. That's why I go to work. I go to work yep. to make sure that there's food for my kids to eat, make sure we got somewhere to sleep, make sure I can do this, pay for my internet, pay for, you know, 
pay buying yeah. the games I stream. Like that's why all of this exists. That's why I go to work. But this what we're doing now, this is beyond money for me. You know, if we can make money out of it, awesome. I'm not mm-hmm. gonna sit here and turn down a check. But what Heck I no. but what I will say is I didn't come into this with the intentions of let's get rich. No, it's, exactly. This is this is a passion project, man. I love yeah. this. You know, we yeah. this is I and I've talked about it a million and a half times and here I go again. Like this is something for me. You know, it makes yeah. me feel good. It's something I've always talked about and I'm reaching I'm doing things I never thought I would ever do. I'm editing videos, blah 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 and so on and so forth without repeating myself for a million times. But <laughs> But that's how much it means to me. Where anybody exactly. will ask, I'll tell them. Like, please. Yeah. Okay, so there was a post, and I'm probably going to ruffle some feathers with this one. There was a post, and it was about a, um, it was about a couple. And um, it, it was uh, the guy was gaming, and his significant other uh, was sitting there on the phone chilling like, well, let him game. You know, this is, you know where he's at. You know what he's doing. It's not like he's um, off running the streets, this, that, and the other. And um, just let him game. It's his hobby. And everybody was losing their mind. You you got guys, girl, everybody. Oh, um, if you got you a man who's playing video games and he ain't no man, da 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 if your partner, if you think him playing video games is going to keep him from cheating, this and that. That go back to being an old head, man. Well, no, but not even just with that. The the thing that I got out of it the most, and that's really, like, blew my mind, is how many people don't have hobbies. That is what I got out of that. A that, lot that of is... people don't have hobbies. Yeah. And it's, dep- or their hobby is built around, um, for example, watching TV. And somebody yeah. said that in one of the comments. They were like, oh, well, what about y'all sitting down watching your shows all day? Maybe they don't want to do that. Like, or maybe. What about y'all scrolling through Facebook? All day. All day. Like, maybe, you know, and I'm not trying to call anybody out specific. That's not the point of this. It was just. Yeah. But I, I really like the idea of this is now my, this is my hobby turned passion. Um. And I, I really, really want everybody to experience, to take that chance. You know, um, Listen, I, what's that guy's name? The the comedian Kev on stage? He actually just put out a video not too long ago. Uh, I want to say today, talking about take the chance. You know, take that plunge. Yeah. Don't, like, wouldn't you, wouldn't you rather pursue it and fail than to never have tried it at all? You never know what it yeah, could well, be. Yeah, people, well, people say that all the time. And... The, the, my whole thing with that is a lot of people think we we're still and this is why I said this that old head mentality. You know, people saying, Oh, you're not a like you were saying, you're you're not a man if you're playing games or this, that, and the third. We're in the era of you can get paid doing anything. Anything. Like, you know, you can make something you can literally turn your passion, your dream, hobby into something that can provide for you and your family. Yep. And granted, most people don't succeed at that. I'm pretty sure that the statistics isn't that high. But if if you're telling me that I can play video games and potentially become successful playing video games and make something of myself and I don't have to I don't have to go work for someone. I put the time in myself and do it. This is just a gaming example. Yeah. You know, why are we still in this era of you know, like game, like gaming. And I'm just, like I said, just talking about gaming, like gaming is nothing, you know, it's that old head mentality. Like mm-hmm. this is we're way beyond that stage in life now. Like we're, look we're at where esports are. Look at esports are on ESPN, bro. Exactly. Like it, it's, I just don't, I kind of let that stuff, that, that stuff doesn't ruffle me because I don't think a lot of people know, even when I talk to people now, like that don't have like what do you do outside of work gossip uh, yeah or work you know outside of work and gossiping about other people doing stuff what do you do and when you don't when you when you look at me and you say i don't know or i don't have a hobby and it gets sad know, it, it's depressing <laughs> nothing makes you smile like, yeah like what do you, you take time for for yourself and just sit there and zone exactly. out and clear your head. Like, yeah. you know what I was shocked I actually got into? 
Um, and it for me, I think it started a, maybe I've been doing it for like two years, maybe a little more is um, building uh, model kits, whether it's mm-hmm. Gundams, whether it's different anime characters. I haven't gotten to cars or planes. I don't I'm not really into cars or planes like that. So I, right now it's robots and Gundams. And yeah. um, I didn't realize I could sit there for two, three hours and and jump into it and actually yeah. enjoy it, you know, like and really <laughs> zone in. And you know what? And I can go on for weeks about that. But something that actually jumped up that caught my attention, and um, I'm kind of changing pages here, is how for the Fortnite. Now I played Fortnite when they first brought it out onto console on the console, and they did the whole free to play battle royale. I played a couple matches. It really didn't grab me like it grabbed a majority of the gaming world. Um, I, I want to say it's over. Uh, it's like 3.4 million people playing at one time this month. Like yeah. just, and that, and those stats is based off of fortune. Um, and we'll make sure to put the link below and everything, but that 3.4 million people playing at one, at the same time for one game for a free to play game. Mm-hmm. Cause of course you can buy the That's... full one, but the battle Royale part that everybody's going crazy over yeah, is no one really plays the PvE. Nobody plays. The, <laughs> I don't know too many people play the PvE. And if you do, and tell us in the comments why and why did you spend your money on something like that. But well, you know, that, I'm not trying to disrespect. Well, so the thing that's so crazy about Fortnite and 3.4 million people playing is people now want crossplay. I mean, mm-hmm. it's not a now thing. People have wanted crossplay. I want to say at least for this whole cycle for sure. This whole council yeah. cycle. I mean, people wanted crossplay way back yeah. in the day. Oh yeah. Before. Yeah. Everybody wanted you know. it. You know, what what better way to prove who's better than to have server matches? Like yeah. but but besides that, so as of now, recently, somebody tweeted out um you know, uh this guy named uh Doki Bay. <laughs> he tweeted out, Hey, um, I want Xbox One and PS4 players uh, together on Fortnite. And then Phil Spencer over at Xbox, he was like, me too. And then after that, Epic Games, the people over at Fortnite, they jumped in and said, we three. Only people who are stopping this from happening right now is Sony. And mm-hmm. Sony's kind of been against the whole crossplay thing for a while. Um, yeah. And I and this is, this is my thoughts on it. Sony has always sold enough in their own right to where they don't need crossplay. Um, it, it's it's never the crossplay has never been. That's my in, whole argument, to be honest. No, and I'm a, I'm a look. I know I uh, I can get fanboyish at times, but I will. But I will disagree with you on one point to that. Uh, I think Sony became successful when PS4 popped up, PlayStation Three, Xbox Three Sixty cleared the market. And and you know you know what a lot of that was though because a lot of the American titles didn't pour, um didn't do too well on the PlayStation like when you had a dual release I bought I had to buy Skyrim twice I'll never forget it because none of the DLC remember that I don't know if you you were playing Skyrim then none of the DLC worked on PlayStation you had to wait mm-hmm. months it could you imagine being a big fan of a game sitting there getting ready to play it, and then you find out all the DLC is coming out today on the other console, but you got to wait a couple of months, not a well, couple that's weeks. How it was for, that's how it was for, uh, for call of duty for, a, a grip of titles. Yes. Because see. they only came out on Xbox first. So we had to wait a month to get them. And then <laughs> when we got the new one, they got the new one. When we got the new one, the Xbox 360 got the new one. See that's but then they lost. They see they lost that contract. Then PlayStation got it. Picked it up. So, but that's only because of the competitive scene. Yeah. And then the PlayStation Four was just a better system than the Xbox One. I'm. A, I'm. A, so, no. I'm gonna tell you what happened with. Uh, we're not gonna. We're, you. We can have this argument. We'll do it. So I'm gonna mm-hmm. tell you what happened. And I remember day one within the first year, or at least the first holiday season for Xbox One. There was no games other than Grand Theft Auto Five. 
Yeah, but remember, now, Xbox had a Xbox One had a lot of problems when it first because remember it wasn't supposed to get released. They upped their release because, because PlayStation, PlayStation Four theirs, and that's and when they drop when they dropped the Xbox One, it dropped with a gang of problems that they even had to go back and up the yes. hey, We're gonna give you guys back yes. this. We're gonna give you it, guys it, back that. Yes, I um I do know because I have a day one brick myself. So yeah. what? But. In saying that, we all know whoever catches the wave first usually kind of rides it out. and Of course. And PlayStation came out swinging. They had games. What did they have? Kills a slow zone. Uh, Killzone. <laughs> a slow zone. Killzone was, Killzone was cool if you had a party. If you didn't you have know, friends to play that game. Uh, yeah. Hey, do you, re- do you remember the trailer and how they was like, in game? And... And then you wouldn't actually play it, and there wasn't nothing like. When, yeah, nobody. Do you think we're ever going to get to the day where we're watching? Well, actually, we are now with the freemium games. They're doing a good job of showing in game trailers. Like, if you're watching a trailer, it's usually like this is exactly what you can do in game. But they still be out here short selling us, like, oh, here's this yeah. epic story. But I'm jumping, I'm jumping topics. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Going back to going back to the cross play. My my point of it is, it would it would be great for the community, but in terms of business and winning and coming out on top, only people who would benefit would be Fortnite and Xbox. I yep. tru- I don't think any benefit would come to not in the not in no. a big growth like we need this. Yeah, uh, my my whole argument is that, and uh, and like I said, as as a gamer. I don't really care about the business side of stuff unless we start, unless we're evaluating something. Mm-hmm. Because if we're sitting here talking about Fortnite, the biggest game out as of right now, it, one reason why I wouldn't want crossplay between all systems is because PC players are superior to console players. Oh, it, dude, so it I, would be, it's bad. I, I would hate to be on a console using a controller and run up against Myth or Ninja or Hamlins or Daquan. Do you, do you see how fast would, they put up their barriers, bro? Exactly. They build in they build they're they they're sitting so there fast dropping. I wanna, boop, 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 boop. The, yeah. it's not even fully loaded yet and it's already shielded. It's ridiculous. like well, I'm we're preaching to the choir here cuz um Ninja has over 3 million followers in like a week. Like over a hundred thousand subscribers in a day. Can you, yeah, bro? It's, can you imagine clocking in one day, clocking two hundred, one hundred and fifty k, two hundred k, one day? I don't know what I would do myself. How do? You, what's normal? <laughs> what's real life anymore? When you you just shatter is re- real life, man. Let's, ready Player One, dog. Your room. <laughs> You're not leaving that room because that's your community. That is your community that you have to continue producing for. But I mean, back on topic. So yeah, number one, I wouldn't want to play against console players because they're console players. Like they have the upper hand in every battle. There should be a trophy for like kill a count, kill a PC player. You get a a gold. No, it really, it really should be. I agree. That should be a trophy. Um, and then the second thing is, uh, like I said, when if we we're sitting here talking about a video game, I'm I just want to talk about the video game, not really the back end of anything. But when you when you when you bring up something like this, you have to talk about it. So like when you're talking about, and you said it, it wouldn't benefit Sony at all. Sony would Sony would be throwing a bone to Xbox. Yeah, because they really they still are the best selling console. And yeah, exactly. I, I think I think as of like quarterly, I want to say Nintendo Switch has been mm-hmm. on top, but as in overall units, I want to say PlayStation Four has been killing since release. Yeah, but in every we every quarter, that, yeah, it being it being the first system out, and uh, what it what and what it what it gives you, uh, but yeah, you're talking about what can it do? Xbox would gain tremendously for it. Then think about this too. If you start cross playing video games, there's no point in okay. So it'll benefit me and you as a as a as friends, as a PlayStation guy, Xbox guy. I'm able to play games with you that I may want to get on my PlayStation, but you want to get on your Xbox, so we can play together. 
but there's no point in having a favorite console no more. Your favorite games is becoming con cross played. You know, now everything is on an even playing field. Hey, the number one game in the country, you can get any system. Well, shit, I'm a Sony fan. And I guarantee you, there's a there's a lot of PlayStation fans, and this is streaming back from 360. A lot of PlayStation fans that aren't PlayStation fans, they just got it because it was the better system. They are true Xbox fans. And if you gave them the option to go back to Xbox but still get the PlayStation experience, they're gone. They're not staying on PlayStation because PlayStation fa PlayStation fans are a niche group. Like you, you, they're they're hard headed. They don't want to. They they're literally. Uh, you go go to Xbox. So no one plays Xbox, but Xbox has a. I think they have a bigger fan base because that's they. Most of these people come from Xbox 360. Most of these, all of these competitive players, played Xbox. Most of these people that followed the competitive players played Xbox. Remember, they Xbox play used to be the tournament, the tournament console. Exactly. So now we're now we're not giving people now we're you're giving people choice. Hey, go with your favorite company, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Go buy the the you know. So and that go that all stems back into the the business sides of stuff. So I'm not really. I would love it as a player, but I could see why Sony is saying no to it. I can I just can see why and you, you can't just not overlook that as a as a gaming fan though it'll make the bond between me and you a lot stronger because now we get to play games together between Mufasa and I because we get to play games together that we enjoy they start doing they do a title like Fortnite which is still they haven't gone you know big corporate big corporate yet there's still a lot of a lot of people you know, feel fortnite's gonna take a big tank because they're gonna try to keep up with their with their popularity instead of just being what they are they're gonna try hey, to make that adjustment listen any like i said before money I said make the money here dance. before and i said it to you once a big once some big wig company comes in gets involved it's gonna fucking drop yep it's going to drop because they're going to want to do something that the community does, doesn't like. It always happens. We always see that. So um, I think I think Fortnite is the bar. I think other games have to keep up with Fortnite because Fortnite consistently has updates every week. I think the season thing is the is their bread and butter. They literally have a season every couple. I, I don't even know how long it is where. You know, it's new rewards, new skins, new axes, new guns, new this, new that, new items. They just look look at PUBG. PUBG, which is this military style tactical battle royale game, they're putting emotes in their game now. Why? To keep up with Fortnite. Keep up with Fortnite. To add so that Fortnite add, add is that the bar. As long as uh, and it, and it, it sucks. But you, you know, once again, man, you know what it was? Accessibility. It came out first. Yeah. It was there. Exactly. Everybody in it's colorful. Your parents walk by. They don't think too much of Did it. Pub, I think PUBG came out before Fortnite. I'm talking about console. Console wise, it was Fortnite. Oh, okay. Console yeah, wise, because so PUBG, PUBG barely came out this past December. Um, console. Yeah, it was the end of... Yeah, it was. Yeah, they announced it at yeah. the... Uh, I forgot what gaming... Uh, game Awards. It was Game Awards. Um, but put, I, I still I still say this too. I, 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 I call one Call of Duty and one Battlefield. One slower mm -hmm. pace and one's fast pace. You watch a watch a watch a guy play watch somebody play PUBG compared to another oh, guy yeah. play even PUBG, even your uh, fast Fortnite? even your fastest PUBG player would still be slow in a Fortnite gameplay. And, and 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 not and not only that, but I'm talking about gameplay wise. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, when you're when you're watching a Fortnite match compared to a PUBG match, watch the kill count. Watch how long it takes for them to get to 30 kills, and watch how short it takes for Fortnite players to get to 30 kills. Mm -hmm. It literally feels like five minutes went by and half the teams are gone. You see what I'm saying? No, so, serious. It, it. I mean, back to the just with the crossplay thing. Uh, yeah, I, I I would love it as the consumer, but business but then, wise. But then you got to think about it this way: it start now. It starts blurring the lines of 
um, me paying so much for my online service Mm -hmm. or why, you know, you get access to this. What if Sony one day is like, hey, Fortnite people, thanks for subscribing to PlayStation Plus. Here's a extra this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and we can't we can't say it hasn't happened. Look at Destiny. Look at Call of Duty. But that would go that actually would go into Epic. Epic would get chewed for that. Yeah. Because Epic has to go out and make that contract or deal with Sony. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean it's it's just like like you said, we've seen it in so many games. I mean, even going back to Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. You know how how it sucked to have to wait a month to get a a damn DLC, but and Xbox that, players already. I gotta go watch the maps and shit man, on YouTube before that, I get to play them. That determined because me, I'm gonna get every console. That that's just because that's who I am. I'm not a yeah. fanboy type. It's just whatever one grabs me and whatever one, whatever one happens. Like I'm so happy I have my PlayStation Four because of what God of War coming out. I don't have to go yeah. buy a new console, even though I really want to go get that special edition. Um, that special edition Kratos one just because it's a terabyte and it's a PlayStation Pro. Um, it looks dope, but that's beside yeah. the point. The point is, um, it always boils down to what's what's what. So I went and picked up Skyrim on my Xbox 360 because the DLC was out and available and ready to go. Mm-hmm. I, but I originally bought it from my PlayStation because I don't know why, but I bought it and it was ready to go. But I had to switch. I went and took it back and rebought it. Like I was like, yeah. "Well, I'm not gonna sit here and waste my time." You know, um, a month gaming wise, a month. Every, they, you can make a game old in a month. Heck yeah, a game month could be old in two weeks. Man, and nobody talks Jeez. about it anymore. Moved on, yeah. done in the dust. I, I, I'm like I said, I'm I'm more of just a. I I guess, I, I'm more. Since I play PlayStation, um, most of my uh, my stuff on PlayStation is is because all my stuff is in one slot, one area, and it ain't really bad to play on PlayStation. But mm-hmm. more people who who play Xbox will stick to Xbox. Um, yeah, man, I'm I'm all for it as a as a Fortnite fan, as a consumer. But I can I can sit back and see why Sony says, Nah, we're not doing it. True. I think, and I agree with you. I think long term, it'll open up Pandora's box. And once you open up that box, because there's already cross play, you mm-hmm. know, there's already games that have it, but it's mainly between Microsoft and Xbox, which we all know it's one company. So you got internet, you yeah. know, it's not too, it doesn't really hurt. Um, no. But when you throw in a whole new console, you, you really do start blurring lines. And then yeah. it starts, like you said, becoming why? Watch, mm-hmm. you know, but um, so and speaking on that, we're starting to hit our little time. Um, yeah, we hit our mark today, man. Yeah, we did. Oh, so, I think we went a little over, just a little bit, <laughs> but yeah, it would be good. We once again, all of our links and all of our good information is down below. You guys make sure to subscribe. We all please your support, subscribe. please subscribe. By you guys subscribing, it really helps to get our count up and lets us know we're doing things right. And then comment, you know, let us know where we get it wrong, debate us, you know, let us know. Yeah, hey, we, I would love to hear back from you guys. Yeah. Do read the comments. Um, I would love for you to hear what you guys have to say, especially on some of the topics that we touch in these videos. So please, please uh, hit us up, man. Let us know. If, if not on YouTube, on our Twitters and our Instagrams and yep. all that other stuff. Or hit us up stuff. on but Twitch please. while we're streaming, you know, yep. any of that. I'm about to stream after this. Yo. Well, I'm Baron J67. And I'm T Jones. Man, peace. Much love. Peace out.